It's the grandson of right thought. When we say we're dealing with our enemies, what do we mean? As targeted individuals. When you say you're being gang stalked, what do you mean? Is it 3D warfare that you're fighting? Or is it spiritual? Now you can say whatever answer you believe. But we know that the Most High says that you're in spiritual war. Not in carnal war. So if you're focused on the carnal things. Saying that th that's where the attack is coming from. This 3D physical reality. Then you're not seeing the truth. You're not seeing the truth that it's spiritual. It's about energy vampirism. It's about supply. A drug called life force energy. And the living possess that. The dead do not possess it and the dead are trying to steal life force energy from the living. So they can feel alive. It's not hard to understand. It's very simple actually. But they want to steal that energy from you. The living. The targeted. And how do they steal your energy from you? By casting doubt upon you. Throwing fears at you. Telling lies about you smear campaigning you gaslighting you manipulating you making you crazy correct these are all the things that the gang stalkers around you are doing well those things that we just described are those things outside of you or are those things have to do with what's going on inside of you Lies, fears, doubts, all of these things that the 3D is throwing at you, the gang stalkers are throwing at you, is that to disrupt your 3D world or to disrupt your inner world? See, because one, once one becomes strong within self, knowing who self is, standing on firm rocks internally, then it doesn't matter what comes. No, it doesn't matter what a gang stalker says. It doesn't matter what gaslighting technique they have. It doesn't matter what they're doing to you. Because you know within yourself who you are, what you are, what you stand on. You know it. Despite what they try to say or do or manipulate or trick. It won't work. That's why he said it's spiritual. That secret place you go to inside of yourself when you're having your internal conversation. And we all do it. We all have the internal conversa conversation. My question to you today is, what is your internal conversation like? Is it loving? Are you kind to yourself when you speak to yourself? Inside yourself? Or are you harsh and critical? Are you mean to yourself? Are you impatient with yourself? Are you not long-suffering with yourself? If you're not those things, you're not loving to yourself. So then what do you expect to see on the outside? Things that display that you don't love yourself. So that's why it's spiritual. It's you putting on your armor. Why would he tell you to put the breastplate of righteousness on, right thinking, if right thinking isn't going to deflect the blows that are hurled at you? Abo is giving you a piece of armor and telling you what it is just so that you can just be confused about what it is. <laughs> he says the, bre the breastplate of right thinking. And if you wear that, then you'll be able to deflect the blows, the arrows and the darts or the accusations and lies, guys. You're this. You're that. You're this. I am this. I am that. I am this. So breastplate of right thinking about yourself see the helmet of salvation you know where your salvation is see the helmet of salvation you know where it is 
So when people are coming to you hurling doubts about your living and you're not going to have what you need and you're going to be struggling or you're going to this bad thing is going to happen to you and blah, blah, blah. You know where your salvation rests. The helmet of salvation, you're wearing it. You know where it is. Yahusha. Yah's salvation is what that name means. So you, that's your helmet. And that's why we put on those weapons, the preparation, guys. That's how we prepare. So when somebody's out here in the world telling me I have to put a mask on, I know I don't have to. So then I just don't. I don't have to take it personal because he's he's uh, suggesting that I should. I don't have to take that personal. I just know that I don't have to. So then I don't. See, because when you know the truth about what's actually happening on the planet, then you, you won't be shocked when you start seeing this, these changes in people's health. When the radiation level on the planet is starting to skyrocket beyond way beyond normal levels, what do you think you're going to see on the earth? Maybe radiation poisoning for people that are not prepared. People that have not made themselves ready to receive that energy, the shift. We all know what makes this planet, things on this planet grow. <laughs> we all know what it is. When the radiation level rises, things grow. But if you ain't prepared for that, if you have not made your vessel ready for that, then what do you think is going to happen to you during this time? So yeah, they'll tell you to put a mask on, tell you about coronavirus, and tell you about red iron oxide dust and blah 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 blah. But if you don't know what it is, then you'll just be listening to all of that, going, "Well, well, well." You don't have no helmet of salvation, no breastplate of righteousness on. I told you, you got no sword, which is the word of God. So then you can't cut nothing. So then, when your enemies come, you don't actually know how to defend yourself. Y'all are leaning into counselors. Psychiatric help, psychologists, science to understand how to fight war, spiritual war. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> you don't see how silly that is? You're using 3D man made techniques to fight a spiritual war. And you wonder why you keep getting your ass whooped. Why people keep draining your energy, why things keep happening to you, why the same loops keep happening over and over and over with the same type of people over and over and over and over and over. But when you're standing on a firm rock, then you can deflect all the blows, all the arrows, every damn thing. You just do what Abba say. You put on the armor he says put on. Then you're ready. You're ready when you step out here. You're not concerned. You're not worried. Nobody can try to get you to do anything you don't want to do. You just, I simply serve Abba Yah. It's just that simple. And when you do that, he'll teach you how to make proper warfare against your enemies. Because they're using techniques that you don't understand And that's why you keep losing They're knowing how to push your buttons As you guys say Well what does it really mean? Y'all don't really think about these things? You say push your buttons Well what does that really mean? That means affect your emotions You see? You don't want anyone else to have any control over your emotions Because your emotions belong to you Not them so then their opinions, their ideas, their feelings don't have any have any sway over you and how you feel and think. You have to separate yourself from that. Become separated. Transformed by the renewing of your mind. It's all in the scriptures over and over and over. You watch my videos, you'll hear it over and over and over again. That this is how you do it, but everyone's kicking against that. No, I'm going to make sure I, I set this person straight. Make sure they see it the way I see it. Make sure they understand my viewpoint. Fighting 3D battles. Losing. Wasting your energy. Exhausted. Tired as hell. Because you're not keeping your life force energy inside of yourself. Letting it build you up. Letting it renew you. See? You're just wasting your strength out. Into this world Being pulled in every direction By all these ideas And all these opinions And what the TV says And what social media said And what Twitter said And what this person said And what that person said Instead of what Abba Yah just said to y'all But y'all gonna kick against them pricks To the end I assume Y'all gonna kick against them pricks Until you ain't got no feet left 
Because like I said, the radiation level on the planet is rising for a reason. Y'all all know that there's earthquakes in diverse places. There's pestilence. There's diseases. There's all kinds of plagues. Locusts all over. All kinds of stuff. What does that mean? <laughs> Specifically for you, America, what does that mean for you? What does that mean that you're at on this clock? You've all heard it. You've all been warned about it, but... Did you take heed to the warning? Just like Noah's day. Nobody listened to Noah, did they? He yelled and screamed for over a hundred years and no one listened. Just as it was in Noah's day, so shall it be in the days of the coming of the Son of Man. Y'all gonna do the same thing. <laughs> You're gonna look at videos like me and thumbs it down. You're gonna, oh, that nigga's crazy. And, ah, the hell with that. I'm about to go watch the game or I'm about to go back to my entertainment and go back to work and focus on my 3D life instead of heeding to the message and the warnings just like Noah's day comforter was sent to warn no one listened I shall send you the comforter in the last days sent to warn and no one listens but you all complaining about your lives wanting the way out rejecting the power thereof Well, like I said, if you seek to be free today, today, then you have to come back to the Most High Yah. There's no other way. And the only way you can get to Him is through Yahusha, because He's the one that showed us that it was divine love. The spirit of the law. How to fulfill the law, because we didn't know how to do it. We didn't know how to live this life correctly, but He showed us how. So we follow in His footsteps. The few. We don't sway to the right or to the left, but we follow the Lamb whithersoever He goes. So will you follow today and learn how to be defended by your shepherd who's going to guide you in those moments? He's going to put that right thought in there. When someone asks you a question, He's going to deliver the thought and then you deliver it. See, because in relationships, a lot of people are having a lot of trouble with this with relationships women and their men with men um, wanting to rule the home and the woman bucking his authority and all of this back and forth back and forth back and forth look men simply let Christ be your mind and, and lose your ego lose yourself and let Christ be your mind and so when she's talking to you, she's not talking to you anymore. She's talking to divine thought. But you have to remove your ego and become nothing. And let Christ become your I am. And let him speak for you and be your spokesman or your husband, man. And if you do that, then whatever she does, she's not rejecting you. She's rejecting Christ, divine thought. And at the end of the day, she won't be able to deny this if you are indeed being led by divine thought. And the only way you can do that is to come to Yahusha and let him guide you and become your husbandman. Prune out all the weeds that you had in your mind. Cut all that away. Pull all that out. Rake all the garbage out. Plant new seeds. Cultivate them into their full growth and bear fruit in you. That's what a husbandman does. Let him be your husbandman and cultivate your mind. Be the cultivator and the tender keeper of your mind. So that you may be the tender keeper to your woman's mind. And she won't be able to deny it when you're doing it. But that's the only way, guys. That's the only way you can be a man out here. Is let Yahusha lead you. And if you ain't doing that, then you're no man. And you're going to find out in the end that you're not. Because you'll be relying on your own brawn. You'll be relying on your own strength, which ain't enough out here. I'm telling you that. It's not enough. You need strength from on high. And the only way you can get that is through meekness and obedience and humbleness and humility. That's the only way. Same thing with the woman. You have to come in humble. You can't come in proud. 
No man wants a proud ass woman that can't be humble and learn. Because Christ doesn't want a student who's proud and can't learn. Abba doesn't want a child who's, who's proud and can't learn. He hates a proud look. Abba does. So, woman, doesn't matter if you don't respect the man. It's, do you have a proud look before Abba Yah today? Or are you humble and full of humility and meekness and obedience and a quiet spirit, which to him is of a great price, his words, not mine? So if you don't like that I'm saying it, then you have to be mad at Abba Yah because they're his words. You see, brother? Right thought. And that's your shield because she can't throw any darts at you. They won't stick to you. Because you have on the breastplate of what? The right thought. So y'all decide today you're going to put that armor on to fight the spiritual battle or keep fighting in this 3D? It's up to you. Silawam Yisraelah.